tonight our title is deliverance from the spirit of delay say spirit of delay say it again say spirit of delay in our journey in the kingdom one of the most frustrating things that happens in our lives is delayed prophecy say delayed prophecy Delays wanted to appear as though God lied. Say God did not lie. Talk to me. Say God did not lie. In the, in, in the book of Titus, the Bible says God cannot lie. Even if he, he tried, he can't. If God said today is Monday, it would change from being Wednesday and start being Monday. So he cannot lie. In hope of eternal life, which God who cannot lie. He cannot lie. Say, he cannot lie. He promised before time began. Say, he cannot lie. So it is scriptures like these that bring confusion when the things that a God who cannot lie said it and you have not seen it. What is delay? It is the stretch between the time of prophecy and fulfillment. The gap between promise and provision. It is called delay. And the enemy uses delay to make Christians doubt God. The enemy uses delay to make Christians fight their God. The enemy uses delays to frustrate your work with God. And then doubt sets in and then you begin to speak against the prophecy. And what God said, which was not a lie, looks like a lie because you then speak against it because it has delayed. Did you understand that? In the book of Matthew 25, the bridegroom delayed and the oil ran out. Could it be that your oil is running out? Because of delays. Could it be that your joy is running out. Because of delays. So I'm here tonight to tell you that. There is a spirit. Behind the delays. Delays are not coincidental. They are not accidental. No. Delays have a power behind them. Say the power. Behind my delay. Say power of delay. We address you tonight. Uh, I, I refuse to go into 2024 uh, with the spirit of delay on my back. I said that spirit that says tomorrow, tomorrow. I said that spirit of delay must be broken. In the book of Genesis chapter number 15, Verse number 13, God said to Abraham, know for sure that your descendants will be strangers into a land, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, and they'll go into captivity for 400 years. Somebody say 400. Talk to me, say 400. And in Exodus 12 verse 14, the Bible says that they were in captivity for 430 years. Did God lie? No. What happened? There is a power that delayed even what God said. Delay is so powerful. It can even prolong what God said. Classic example. God said 400 and then it became 430. I wonder... How much extra time are you in? In the school of life. The match should have ended at 90 minutes. But you are now approaching 120. An extra 30 years. Uh, why wait an extra 30? And then you look at the God who prophesied and say, I thought you said 400. And then you look at the man who God used to say 400. And you say, I have a problem with you and your God. Daniel 10. From the first day, Daniel, that you prayed. 
The answer was dispatched. But there is a spirit. There is a prince of Persia that withstood your prophecy for 21 days. I want to talk to somebody who knows they shouldn't be where they are. I want to talk to somebody who you can feel that you can feel that something is withstanding you. I, 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 it's not that you are not grateful in the season of Thanksgiving. But, 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 but you just feel that I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. I should be further than this. I should be higher than this. I should be wealthier than this. I should have more money than this. I should have more joy than this. Uh, it is the plan of God that was 400 years. We don't deny the captivity, but we are denying the prolonging. I refuse the prolonging, Namahaya. I refuse the prolonging. There is a demonic prolonging that somebody is operating under. And tonight, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we are here to attack the power of delay. I'm not here with the fancy message. No Greek and Hebrew words tonight, but just brute force. Uh, that will push you into your prophecy. He said in Ezekiel 12, What is this vision? Or what is this proverb that you people have about prayer shift? Uh, that the days are prolonged. Why are they prolonged? He's saying, Jeech, what is this? What is this? You've been around the same mountain too long. What is this? Uh, a transaction that should take 11 years or 11 days has taken 400 years. Some things should have been deal sealed by now. But there is a power of delay. <laughs> Delayed deliverance is proof that a captor is benefiting from your bondage. It is not to Pharaoh's advantage to release the captives. Because the captives are bringing profit to Pharaoh. Who is benefiting from the delay in your life? There is a someone or a something that is causing delays and is benefiting. Pharaoh built his kingdom on the delay of God's children. Uh, there's somebody who's building based on delaying you. The more they delay your freedom, the more they build. The more they delay your freedom, the more they prosper. I said there is a power and an entity that is benefiting from Say you power of delay holding me back. Tonight is the night I break you off my life. Listen, ordinarily a woman should have an issue of blood for four days. On average, am I right, women? Four days is acceptable. But 12 years. Can you see what delay does? Something that was supposed to be over in four days has taken 12 years. That is the power of delay. Delayed healing. Delayed deliverance. We are going to fight that power. Yeah. Say power of delay. That caused a four day issue to go into 12 years. I wage a war against that power. We don't deny the fact that people get sick. But when healing delays, sickness leads to death. When sickness prolongs, it leads to death. There are things that are in your life and they've been there too long. <laughs> Flu. They will find the name and call it COVID. But the point is flu. You know, for another three, four days. You get a three, four weeks. 
there's something in your life that is delaying to be fixed. Say you problem operating in my life. You have been here too long. You have taken too long. Tonight, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I attack the power of delay extending this sickness, this affliction. Open your mouth and pray now. Listen, what is breakthrough? Breakthrough is a result of the power of delay being removed. When you remove delay power, breakthrough is the result. You can pray for breakthrough, but until you remove delay, <laughs> breakthrough will continue to be denied. What is to be delayed? It is to be prolonged. He said, you are being prolonged. You are known as the person with the breakthroughs. We are going to break the power. There is a power. We are going to break that power tonight. Say, delay. You are a power. Tonight, I attack. I attack. I attack. I hear the Holy Ghost saying, instead of being frustrated about the delays, attack the delay power. Instead of discussing the delays, attack the power behind the delay. In Joshua chapter number 1, verse number 5, he says, no man shall be able to stand before you. Moses, come here. Stand right there. Stand right there. Look, at, look, look this way. Now, the speaker there is where I want to get to. This way. So I'm moving at a certain speed until there's a person in what? In front of me. This way. So when the Bible puts, Asha, please, an anointing on you that says no man will be able to stand before you. It means there's a power that will cause anyone or anything in your way not to stand. Since he's not standing anymore, I now carry on with my journey. So I release Joshua 1 verse number 5. Lift up your right hand of power. Say from tonight, I declare and I decree, no man relative, friend, friendly enemy Whoever it is will be able to stand before me. I will get to my promised land. Any man or woman in covenant with Lucifer standing in my way by the power of the Holy Ghost. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. You are delaying me. Get out of my way. Listen, the Bible says in the year that King Uzziah died. What happened? I saw the Lord. Listen to me. If whoever has to die for delays to die, hurry up and die. I want to see the Lord. I want to see my next level. In the year 2023, there is a King Uzziah that must die between now and the end of the year. And you will see the Lord. Say, you King Uzziah, hurry up and die. I want to see my prophecy. The Bible says in Psalm 18 verse 29, he says, but by this my God, this is the Nigerian version, by this my God, I can run through a troop. There is a troop of wizards standing between you and your breakthrough. Tonight there's a run of anointing. I said tonight there's a run of anointing. Say by my God, I will run through a troop. Troop of witches, troop of wizards, troop of satanists, troop of the occult. I receive an anointing to run through you. I will run through you. By my God, I will run through you. I will leap over the wall. Hallelujah. There is a man called God in the Bible. And the Bible tells us that there was a prophecy over the life of God. 
that you shall be held into captivity. It's in the book of Genesis. And the, but and the, a troop shall overtake you, but you shall win at last. Say troop. Say it again. Say troop. He says a troop shall tramp upon him. There are people who there are troop of which is tramping upon you. And then he says in Psalm 18, by my God, I can run through a troop. In other words, you are more anointed than God. You are not getting it. There is somebody, hallelujah. God is Old Testament. I am New Testament. They will not tramp upon me. I will run through the troop. They trampled upon God, but I will run through them. I declare and I decree the powers that trampled over your father you will run through them I said poverty that trampled your mother you will run through it Moses you will run through it Moses I said I will run through it what stopped your father you will run through it what blocked your mother you will run through it what blocked your uncle you will leap over it I release an anointing you will not be delayed you will run through a troop you will leap over a wall say father Give me power to run through the troop that trampled my father. Say, I will not be blocked. I will not be frustrated. I will not be hindered. I will press on. I will press forward. I will go upwards. I will go forward. You troop of demonic powers, I will run through you. Shout, power of delay. Loose your hold. There are people who have been nailed down to one place. Every person under the sound of my voice, live or delayed, I prophesy over your life. Anything the enemy is using to nail you down, I remove that nail. <laughs> the nail in a short place. I said, I remove that nail. Uh, let me speak in your mother tongue. Yakaroverwa pamuti kuruzeva Izikanza kuna marino buda Say you nail in a short place Delaying my destiny Be thou removed Be thou removed Revelations chapter number 10 verse 5 and 6 He said he put one foot on the land And one foot on the sea And lifted up his hands to him who lives forever. Watch this. He addressed the power in the land. The power in the sea. He says, in fact, before that he says, Woe unto the creatures that are in the sea. What have creatures have got to do with delay? When witches are deep, they deal with creatures. These are the creatures that you dream about. And then all of a sudden, the next day you are told tomorrow. You are not reconciling the two. You have to say, first say, woe unto the sea and the creatures that are in it. Uh, there was a creature called Pharaoh that lived in the sea. Pharaoh used the power of the sea and the creature in the sea to delay the children of Israel from their release from bondage. There is an entity in your family using water spirit. It is my story. Every power of Chipostory. I said every power of Mazbaba causing delays in your life. I said every power of Chipostory causing delays. He said he lifted up his hand to, live, to him who lives forever. In other words, you address the powers in the water, the powers on the land, and the powers in the heavenlies. Uh, you've got to address the powers from three realms uh, from the water hallelujah from the land uh, and from the heavenlies uh, there are demonic altars in the heavenlies uh, there are demonic altars uh, in the sea uh, there are demonic altars hallelujah on the land uh, and tonight uh, we address them in three realms uh, say power in the water uh, Power in the sea, power in the heavenlies. I attack you tonight. I need my breakthrough. There must be no more delays. Open your mouth and pray. Pray like fire. Pray like fire. 
pray like fire release fire we release fire over the spirit of delay listen when your breakthroughs are delayed you lose credibility with people so the power of delay is designed to embarrass you it's designed to make you look like you're a liar because you make promises based on promises I want to address every power assigned to embarrass you we're going to tear that power down when your rental is delayed the next thing is eviction it's you see you see you see you see you're fighting the landlord when you should be fighting the power of delay when you delay to pay for your car it is repossessed we're going to fight the power of delay we're going to fight the power of delay I know women who have been divorced because of the spirit of delay. How men of God, when the enemy can block your womb and delay your child, the elders begin to speak. Help them. The elders of the family begin to speak and begin to say, You don't hear me. There is a power of delay that can delay your child. Sarah, 75 years old and no baby. Say, power of delay blocking my promise. Isaac is the son of there is a promise that is being delayed I said your Isaac I said your Isaac has been delayed we are going to find a power from Sarah's house it is a power of delay say you power blocking my promise I attack you I attack you I have been promised by a credible God you evil power I attack you Psalm 70 verse 1 and verse 5 quickly he says make haste oh God to deliver me <laughs> make haste to help me I know you've asked God to help you but have you asked him to make haste? Uh, someone, you, I don't know if anyone. <laughs> this is David who knew how to pray. You have prayed for God to help you. But you have not prayed for him to make haste. Make haste to help Moses. Make haste, make haste, make haste. Shout, make haste! When I saw this, I said, I, I can quicken heaven. I can quicken heaven. Denga ruku no noka, not because I read gone, but because I want to come to speed. Denga ruku kubatsa, but at what speed? Verse five. But I am poor and needy. Make haste to me. Poverty is a result of delayed help I am poor and needy make haste <laughs> oh God so even God if not pushed can delay if you don't put edge, if you came home just to hear this is good enough you can push heaven this is David a man after God's own heart who said, make haste, oh God. That's why I am poor and needy. Make haste to help me. So you can be helped quickly out of poverty. He said, you are my help and my deliverer, oh Lord. Again, do not delay. You said, Lord, I want to get married. But you did not say, make haste. You did not put an agent sticker on your envelope. So as far as heaven is concerned, they are answering your prayer. 
at the speed you asked. Do you know this Bible? <laughs> I am poor. I am needy. I need rent. I need a car. I need a husband. I need a child. You did not ask heaven. I'm slowing down so you can get it. To make shout, make haste, O oh Lord. Do not delay. That means God can delay. And it's not his fault because you have not asked him to make haste. You have no right to complain about a delay that you have not asked heaven to make haste. And God's time is the best time. That is a lie. Because in the economy of God, he doesn't worry about time. It is you who worries about time. So make him aware that you are running out of <laughs> he's not worried about time you need to make him away Lord I don't know how things operate in heaven but here on earth you are the ancient of days I am not the ancient of days make haste Oh Lord, na kuto find Jiroja. Which is said in Ezekiel, it is not time for them to build. There are witches who are delaying your building. And the time is not near for them to build houses. Kuna department will not delay a real estate. Kuna department will not block a kuvaka. And the Clarissa no fachi renta. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. That is, there is a department. So you remove the spirit of delay, deliverance. And then you push heaven to hasten. For you to be established double in 2024. The theme. There needs to be a hasty action by heaven. I know people who have taken 15 years to build four rooms. Because of the spirit of delay. And Jesus got to a place and he perceived that this man had been there for a long time. The man at the gate called Beautiful was there for a long time. He was at the gate of a beautiful destiny. 38 years. A man was stuck by a pool of solutions. You can be at prayer shift for 38 years. 38 years. Good beside the solution. 38 years, Ruba said, Be anointing, you know, soon I'm not hearing me. As Rutaza Kusumuka could be now marriage. You can be in the midst of power and not know it. Length of church membership does not guarantee results. It is your drawing power from the anointed. Lack of perception of the anointing is one reason for delay. Until Jesus showed up, this man was going to have 39, then 40. Then 50 years with the same problem. 
until you are now described by your problem or named by your problems. Delayed solutions give you the name of the problem. The man sick with the palsy. The woman with the issue of blood. We don't even know their name. The woman bowled over. The man at the pool of Bethesda. Tell me their names. To date, you don't know their names. Because delays have a power to steal your name. I wish I had somebody in the church whose name has been stolen by the power of delay until you are known for your issue. Murume we squareti. Awacha no boziva utu no zi Edson. Wangons murume we squareti. Anytime people see you, they avoid you because you are the man known for the issue. That's why he said, what is this proverb you have? It becomes a proverb when there's a delay. We're going to fight the power of delay causing proverbs. Anything by which you are known. Why should a pharmacist know your prescription off by heart? Hey! Is there no balm in Gilead? That you are now a frequent customer at the farmers. I'll tell you what doctor, straight to farmers. What was that product here? Pfizer, I know you understand. We're going to break that thing. Shout at the top of your voice. You evil power causing delays. I break that power. I break that power. Psalm 38 verse 22. 38 22. He says, make haste to help, O Lord, my salvation. Raise your right hand. Say, Father, I have many situations where I need you to make haste to drive out demonic forces, to drive out satanic powers. As I pray, in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I activate the power of make haste. Open your mouth, release that power, release it tonight. The power of make haste. Listen, Apostle Darlington, until you ask God to arise, you keep seated. Until you ask Him to make haste, you take His time. God is not under pressure. You have to learn to put heaven under prayer. At one point, David said, Lord, if you delay, I will go down, down to the grave. There are people who need this message right here. That if heaven delays, you'll be buried by December 22. Listen. I'll prove it. That heaven is not in a hurry. Jesus, your Jesus delayed and Lazarus died. If you would have been here, if you had hurried, <laughs> the power of death is depending on delay. Say, power of death. Delaying my helper. Power of delay. Delaying my deliverer. I break you off my life. Do you know the man of God can delay to preach the sermon you need? Okay, I'll need to prove that. In Acts chapter number 9, verse 38, Hansi implore Lydia. And, and since Lydia was near Joppa and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him imploring him not to delay coming to them. 
The apostle can delay with your prophecy. You have not prayed about that one. He can delay laying hands on you. He can keep calling us when he should call you. Lord, do not allow the man of God to delay attending to my guests. You hear your mother in the faith saying, oh, I woke up at two hours praying for another Moses' wife. Gracious. <laughs> Why was she praying for Gracious and not Shumi? What is wrong with Shumi? It means Shumi has not prayed this prayer. Oh, Lord, hasten the servant of God to attend to my issue. Just because someone has your solution, it doesn't mean they will apply it. Proverbs chapter number 3, verse 27 and 28. He says, do not withhold good from whom it is due. There's a power that makes your helpers withhold. There is a spirit that makes your helpers withhold. And what frustrates you is you know the Maria Chanayo. Delta in Gataz, you got another three million. You know the Delta in a problem, you cash. You know the Delta, you withdraw my 10,000 per day. You are Yatabahaya. Do not withhold good. There is a power that withholds good. I said there is a power withholding your goods. I prophesy over your life. Every power withholding. Do you know what is being prophesied to you? I said every power withholding your good. We break that power. I said do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. If it is withheld and it is due, it becomes overdue. I want to talk to people who have breakthroughs that are over. Ayata. Numbia kwa tomu 11 months. Ayati la bahaya. I said you are overdue. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is overdue for the next level, I release an anointing. I release an anointing. I said that overdue baby, we break the water. I said we break the water. I'm here as a spiritual midwife. I said we break the water. Every devil sitting at the door where your breakthrough is supposed to be bad. We drive that devil out. Listen, there are satanic powers that sit at the door of the womb of birth. The Bible says in the book of Revelations, there was a dragon waiting when the woman was about to give birth. It means you're about to break through, but there's a Z spirit. There is a power. I said there is a power. Say every evil power sitting at the door of my breakthroughs. You have swallowed enough breakthroughs. I attack her. I attack ah, like a soldier. I attack at power now. Look at that. And the dragon, look at the middle of that verse. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as the child was born. So you are having to re redo things and redo things because every time something is about to be born, we are going to break that power. We are going to break their power. I said we are going to break their power. Kuna ma demoni. Ano itangeza ita big size torindo. I was a big size. <laughs> Who is big size? <laughs> big size torindo was a central defender for Caps United. He frustrated many of our demare attacks. When we are about to score, which will not apapada go aboraba. Big size, I will tora moon, jesene bora. 
Ponga sat kwa nini zivia ana? Ende refa ngo tatu kwa swanga sikari zipena. Zure kuti na big size ndo zogona after game. Every big size demon. Rukutora mota. Rukutora mari. Rukutora. Look at that. Every big size demon. Ayataba. Ayalaba haya. Say every big size demonic power. Taking my breakthrough. I attack. I attack. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I attack the power. Now. Now. Listen. I didn't know that you can say make haste Lord. Are you learning something new? David said it a number of times. Make haste. Utari na Jehovah, umti Jehovah krumizai. You are still in poverty because you have not asked him to That means it is possible to come quickly out of poverty. And the king called for Joseph and he came quickly out of the prison. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but whoever has caught this anointing by fire, by force, not only are you coming out, but you are coming out quickly. They brought him out quickly, quickly, quickly. Not just deliverance. Quick deliverance. Uh, yes, deliverance can be said to good hands in it when layers, but the panay need to catch up top. I uh, met uh, men of God are in good when layers. You are not hearing me. Jesus delivered him. What? And that was it. Are you getting me tonight, somebody? Somebody say, Lord, bring me quickly out of poverty. Bring me quickly out of one room, one room, one room. Wakomana, one room. Jehovah, bring me quickly out of the ghetto, out of the prison, out of captivity, out of security. Bring me quickly. Shout. Shout. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Sometimes, as men of God, if we don't see clearly, someone is not having a baby. Hello? We can pray against barrenness and nothing happens to them because they're not barren. It's not barrenness. It's delay. <laughs> you are very fertile. <laughs> it is delay. It is delay. Shout no more delay. I feel the power of God. Hiya. Someone quickly, Allah You are coming out quickly. Listen. You come out of delay by deliverance and by prophecy. By what? Deliverance. And by? Moses delivered them out. But Ezekiel prophesied. Elijah and Elisha prophesied. So, whatever was delaying in the economy, huh? let more raise your hands. The prophet of God can come and say, by this time, tomorrow. So, heaven begins to shift. If something was supposed to happen in 2027, it is brought into 2023. December 14. Because, because runs it by this time. Or even tomorrow about this time. I, I don't know who I'm speaking to. But there's somebody whose things have been delayed. And I prophesy that by this time. Tomorrow. Tomorrow about this time. That means that you can program 24 hour miracles. 
I say tomorrow about this time I prophesy over your life tomorrow about this time uh, by prophecy we are breaking the power of delay I said I prophesy the power of delay that power is broken shout tomorrow about this time say by this time tomorrow tomorrow about this time by this time tomorrow in the bible there are 24 hour prophecies tomorrow about this time hello there are six hour prophecies jesus prophesied and the prophecy came to pass within six hours he said peter before the crow crocs you will deny me and it happened three times that means this power of prophecy that within six hours there are six hour prophecies there are 24 hour prophecies there are one month prophecies there are one week prophecies and then there's by this time next year every lodger every lodger <laughs> by this time next year according to the word of the man of God by this time by this time uh, someone doubted you will be a spectator paraphrasing <laughs> say I'm not a spectator by this time next year I will be in my house I will be in my house by this time next year not next year this time but by this time next year listen it's not saying next year this time because if you say next year this time you are waiting for 12 months 12 months but if we say by this time next year it can happen tomorrow it's within the time prophecy has power to cause changes in time and even the one who was receiving the prophecy said men of God don't lie to me and the reason why you think the man of God is lying is because of your background don't build a doctrine around your disappointments she had built a doctrine that in Nina I don't have children. She built a doctrine around their problems. We are going to break that power. That has caused the word of God to look like it refuses in your life. Say no ways. Ah, you're not hearing me. Say no ways. Say no ways. Say tomorrow about this time next week by this time by this time next year supernatural results no more delays raise your hands and begin to pray no more delays no more delays no more delays uh, hallelujah Delays are what cause people to go into the occult. In the book of Exodus, chapter number 32, verse number 1, look at this. The Bible says, now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down the mountain, the people gathered together to Aaron and said to him, come, make us gods. And they post. And they Men of God, if your anointing delays to come down, members will look for other solutions. Amen. 
if the power of God delays to come down, the Bible says that the righteous will dip their hand in iniquity. Are you listening to me? So Satan delays God's children, then offers his solutions, which always have attachments. Stretch your hand. Delays will not stop you. Delays will not make you dip your hands in iniquity. Say, I will not backslide because of delays. I will not dip into iniquity because of delays. I will not go after other gods because of delays. I refuse to water down my kingdom commitment because of delays. You power of delay, you can't make me backslide. Jeremiah 29 verse 28. You will see. You will see. Results. You will see. Oh, you are not, you are not convinced. And for he has sent us in Babylon saying, this captivity is too long. I don't need the rest of it. Stretch your hand. What way was As this captivity is too long. Stretch your hand. Anyone who has been held captive for too long. I speak this scripture. And I say, Lord, whoever has been held captive for too long, we command and demand a release. Be set free. Bring them here. Bring them here. I said every long-term captive. Baka romba shandisa vechu ya kozakwana. It's been long enough. In other words, according to Jeremiah, listen to this, Josh. You can cause captivity to expire. <laughs> Had you been around this mountain long enough? Watch this. I said every power that has been holding you, Clarice, it's enough. It's enough. Shout, it's enough. I said, shout, it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Lose me. Now. Now. Break out in the spirit. Uh, stretch your hands. I have this feeling that for somebody tonight, it is enough. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Let delays come to an end. Let stagnation come to an end. Let cycles of failure come to an end. Let evil frustrations come to an end. Battles at the gate, they are coming to an end. Limitations are coming to an end. Embargoes, they are coming to an end. Serpent powers at the gate, you are coming to an end. Evil aura, you are coming to an end. I'll close with this. You can go to the realm of the spirit and ask God a question called how long? In Psalm 13 verse 1 Lord how long will you forget me forever? It's in your Bible. Will you forget me forever? Hezekiah had to remind God. Who told you God does not have to be reminded? (laughs) 
And the Lord remembered Rachel. That means he had forgotten. If you don't remind God, you will be delayed assuming he knows everything. And the Lord remembered Rachel. What was he before that verse? If God forgets you, it sounds like heresy, but I'm teaching Bible. If God forgets you, Kune, you know, a generation of people who have forgotten. So maybe you've been forgotten because of the iniquities of your fathers. God can forget because you belong to a particular group of forgotten people. As holy as Joseph was, he was delayed in prison for 13 years. Listen, I don't know if it was the battle of the baker, one of the months. Today I remember my sin. I forgot a man who helped me in prison. There are people here and online who you help people. I wish I had somebody. Who you help people, but they forgot. When you are forgotten, you'll be delayed. I said, when you are forgotten, you will be delayed. What makes that customer who promised to pay you, pay someone else and forget you? Sometimes people have not paid you. Don't you say, want kangan? The man at the pool of Bethesda. Hello? Hans, how come you've been here this long? And in his answer, he says, no man helped me. So when no man helps you, you are delayed 38 years. A man forgot Joseph. Men did not help the man at the pool. So if men forget you, you are delayed. There are people here who people have forgotten you. But tonight, from the realm of the spirit, I remind them. <laughs> Joseph, remember me for good when it is well with you. Lift up your right hand of power. Shout Jehovah. Make people remember me for good. Man of God, one day I was frustrated in ministry and I said to God, I said, I help people and they forget. He said, it's your fault. I said, it's my fault. He said, because you don't remind them in the spirit. You don't understand that there are demons that make them forget in the spirit. So you are not reminding them in the spirit. So you are losing in the spirit. Vana Sangha said they can behave the same. Vaoka Sumuza from the beginning. You get bitter at Vanasangan instead of getting bitter at the spirit of forgetfulness. There are customers who you helped, they forgot. There are people who you helped, they forgot. You hear of women who took a guy to school, a boyfriend, and he forgot and married someone else. You are bitter at the guy who forgot and not at the spirit of forgetfulness. I wish I had the energy. Help me, Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Ghost, I have been forgotten. Let people remember me for good. Open your mouth and pray with your hands lifted. They must remember me for good. I said they must remember me for good. God, tonight there's an anointing to cause them to remember you for good. You receive phone calls from people who have not talked to you in your long time. They will remember you for good. Hey.
Shout, how long, O Lord? Shout, how long, O Lord? Psalm 6, verse 3. How long, O Lord? How long? You see that? Say, how long, O Lord? Psalm 74, verse 9. How long, O Lord? Psalm 89, verse 46. How long will you hide from me, O Lord? Psalm 80 verse 4. How long, O oh Lord? And finally, Psalm 94 verse 3. How long will the wicked rule? As long as the wicked rule for long, your captivity stays long. We are going to end the triumph of the wicked. Raise your hands to heaven. So it is biblical to ask God how long? I gave you many scriptures. You don't do it from a platform of bitterness. But you do it from a platform of revelation. Knowing you can interrogate the realm of the spirit. In other words, you can say to the realm of the spirit how far? If God and I agreed on something, I have a right to ask the realm of the spirit how long. In other words, I know your power. This shouldn't take this long. No. We have been made to feel guilty about asking how long. I have given you the scriptures. You are going to raise your hands to heaven and you are going to pray at the top of your voice. And you are going to say to the Lord, how long this? How long? Talk to God about your issue. How long? How long will my ministry remain this small? How long will my finances remain this small? How long will my breakthroughs take? Lord, when, Lord? How long will the wicked reign? How long will the wicked rise above the righteous? How long, Jehovah, will witches keep sitting on my breakthroughs? How long? How long, Jehovah? How long? How long? Shanda Mahaya. Malita Mahaya. Dodo Chemeraimi. Ayando Mahaya. I cry out to you because I know you can hasten things. I know you can quicken things. I know you are the God of speed. It doesn't take you this long. So I address the power, but I also address my God. And I say, Lord, how long? How long will the wicked laugh at the church? How long, Lord? How long shall the wicked prevail? Stretch your hands. By this prayer, you are commanding a board meeting in heaven to address a situation that has been long. The Lord is sending now prosperity, now healing, now breakthroughs, now open doors just because a door has been closed for a long time it doesn't mean it can't open now you have been equipped tonight you have been equipped you have been anointed 